And these guys are like gonna come out of the ground all like flat 2D and 3D, whatever. I don't fucking know. He's dead! He's dead! Oh shit, lag, I remember that. It's kind of a good idea to have a shield. Just saying. Because they do quite a bit of damage. More than I would have liked. Enough to reintroduce Mr. Beeps. Not a big fan of Mr. Beeps, but is, he has his place. I think one of these is fairy? No, they're all hearts. Yeah, they're all hearts. I'll take it! I will accept this prize, I guess, so, of sorts. <laughs> I totally used Far's Wind on the wrong location! <sighs> Let's see, I'm gonna check my map for like the first time ever. And... That says I should probably have a key. Yeah, I should probably have a key for this upcoming... Just in case it freezes again, I'm just gonna do this now. You know, precautions. Precautions must be taken. Now then, Miss Miss. Oh wait, by the way, I can totally use ice arrows now. See that? You see that? I can use those now. I don't. I don't. I don't really feel like it, but I can. And I should probably have that switched to a better set. So let's let's put you there and then you there. there we go. So you go into the middle area. Then you can shoot them all from here. Or not? Now you can. Hey, red guy or red sister, red girl, because they're sisters. They're close sisters. You're so good at hiding in these three paintings. Oh no, where are you gonna go now? I totally can't hit you with the sword for some fucking reason. Well, whatever, you're dead. Or you're materialized. Let's give Mr. Sorty out. I... There is an easier way to do this. There we go. There we go. I totally messed that up. I need to get reaccustomed to the big Goron sword because it, it requires a different play style to be able to use it effectively. Effectively meaning with power and stuff. Oh, hey there, Key! Is that the key I need? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go get the boss key right now just in case. Going on a little detour, see if I find any other keys on the way to that- uh, on the way or in the pr proximity of that key. So, just in case, this is where I totally should have used the Far's Wind, so that I could just come out here. Once again, different playstyle. I gotta get accustomed to it. Hey, arrows! Oh, that just totally stunned him, I guess. We now have a straight corridor, but a twisted-ass room. This place is much more haunted than the Shadow Temple. That's all I'm saying. That's just, that's just the point I'm trying to get across. By the way, adult dungeons use boss keys as well as normal keys. I don't think he noticed that. I don't know if he noticed that. He probably did, but whatever. It has like a freaking Technicolor Ruby in there. Hey there! Stop it! Bubbles! I'm not... I'm not appreciate... Oh shit, fuck. No, God damn it! There we go. Yeah, a different playstyle that I have yet to get used to. I don't need those arrows. I'm gonna totally regret that decision to skip out on them, but whatever. Oh, oh, fuck you guy. Sneaking up like sneaking up on me like that, I don't know how it's possible, but it fucking happened. Totally snuck up on me there. Random hand in a random room. Ow. Really, I gotta fucking, like, get my shit together. There we go. Now I spin. And that is how you spin. This is a key, I believe? It's another key. Yes, it's exactly what I needed. Oh, and more magic. That's also what I needed. I should... I, I really think at this point I should go back and use the Master Sword, but at the same time, I spent like a whole, I spent like a f whole 40 minute period just getting this one. 
So I don't want to feel like all my effort was in vain, like just switching to the Master Sword because I'm sucking with this. I have an extra fairy, it's fine. I have one extra fairy. And... nine hearts? Oh, I thought it was a ten. But it turns out I'm a nine, so curses. If I was a ten, then I'd be like, oh my god, I'm in the next area of hearts, but no I'm not, because I'm not. I like how on my audio you can visually see me deflating. You can visually see my sound deflating from my audio recording. It's an odd concept, but I like it. I shoot this from a distance so I don't get fucking ambushed while I'm, sh while I'm aiming. Just the corridor remains. And lag. Get the fuck out of my face, bubbles. Blue bubbles. I still have my freaking Fars win back in the beginning room. Which I realize is totally fucking pointless at this point because once I get once I get everything I need, the next door is just gonna take me into the middle room. Do we have pots here? No we don't have pots here. Do we have hearts in these pots now again? Please? I could use them. That'd be cool. I got nothing. I'm gonna i I'm totally fucked. Do we have pots here? I have a pot here! Pot! Arrow- Oh, heart! Heart, 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 heart. <sighs> okay. I'll totally get- I totally get used to this by the time I get to fucking Ganondorf. You know, I'm starting to think I just should just like walk through everything with Mary's love, that way I don't have to deal with my fucking health. Yay, I guess. I must shield you. I must shield you into a corner. Get shielded into a corner. Because I can totally show how this is useful. I said shield it into a corner! Un unlock, put it away. Come on, be like... Ah, oh, you piece of shit, I hate you. You're totally invalidating my claims. And now I'm just gonna run. You'll show yourself eventually. I don't have to like face you guys face to face. I can dodge and run and shit. I don't have to use a shield. It's just a fucking compass. I don't care about that. Poop. Fuck that. I don't have to prove anything to you goddamn enemies. By like taking your hits like a man to my shield. I can just run away from them. I don't have to do anything for you guys. By which I mean the enemies. Watch for the- okay, I get it. This is just like the other room. Except they're more likely to catch me. Because I have to spend a, an amount of time climbing up the ladder. Which I totally could have done by now. For a second, I thought it was gonna catch me. Hey! Get out of my face. I don't need the money. Keep the change. I should have said that sooner, it might have been like better. But whatever. We got green bubbles here, remember these guys? Remember these guys from like the fucking spirit temple? I got... Whatever. Hey! You gonna like not be floating around and shit? Apparently not. Oh! Okay, so... Locking on! Okay, so no, I was just like... Bad timing on my part apparently was that what that, what that, what that was. Is what that was. Now, there are two ways to do this. One way is to just inspire that and then shoot it. But I'm gonna do it the way they intended me to do it, by like shooting an arrow through the fucking fire and being all like badass. These gauntlets aren't silver! Hold up a second. I must, I must, I must see this. I, I need to jump over here. So I can see this more properly. Okay, gauntlets. Gauntlets totally silver. Now they're totally not silver. <sighs> now this is an unforgivable glitch. Now they are. Maybe I'm just looking at this wrong, but I'm certain that that does not look silver to me. If only I had a comparison shot, but nope. I got the silver gauntlets er too early to get a comparison shot. I don't, there's nothing for me to say. This is like a fucking pool of blood under my feet. 
or whatever. I think that's blood. That looks, that's what it looks like to me. Like, watered down blood. And I don't understand the concept of that. Oh, hey, you're twisted, Corridor. Yes, that's a thing. Can I just jump down here and make my progress? Be nice. Oh, yay, this room. What's over here? Is there anything cool over here? There better be something fucking cool over here. Oh, it's just this room. Or rather, a way out, as it would seem. But no, I gotta go this way and get and go and go face the domino thing that I already saw in Majora's Mask, except I don't have the fucking deconstruct mask to deal with it. But first, I must kill the spiders like last. Oh fuck! Like last time. Spider. There's one over there. I see your legs moving. Oh, I shouldn't have moved up. Slightly down. There we go. And that's all I can see for now, but hey! Character quest, watch out! The ceiling is falling down! I know, I was gonna take it out. But now, I can't. Oh, and you don't let me aim, that's nice. The buttons tell you when you're safe! That'd be really fucking, like, that would really fucking suck to be caught in that. And the chest will also tell you when you're safe, so you don't have to fucking look up. They give you very obvious clues. Hey, more arrows, I'll take that. As to where you're safe and where you're not. Now here's the final fucking room before I go back in time and stuff. Or back to the first room. Alright, hard, I'll take that. This one looks rather clueless, actually. But whatever, you get arrowed. Oh, I don't like this setup. Because these blocks are, like, ridiculously heavy. I have to move you just enough out of the way so that everything else can fall into place more easily. These blocks don't move as much as normal blocks, and that makes this part rather tedious. Especially if you fail. But it's like the easiest fucking slider puzzle in the world. The only issue is with the time limit. And how things get all mixed around if you don't get it right in time. What kind of fucking say? I'm fucking pushing a block at like... Like... A mile per three hours. Or a third mile per hour, rather. What's that? That's like... That's like half a kilometer per hour. If I'm right, I'm... Uh, oh, I'm totally not gonna make it. I pushed it too far. Shit. Nope. <sighs> Fuck! There's no way I can get this. Oh, they gave me more time. I did not get a good setup the first time, I blame that. You better not fucking scrape it. There we go. Yeah, this one should be good. If I don't make it this time, it's my fault. First, first time I blamed the game. I just had barely enough time to finish that la that first one. But once again, first time for everything, I haven't failed this before. No, I didn't need to push it that- pull it that far. Horrible sense of fucking, like, perspective. There we go. Oh my god, it's a ghost. Like, I haven't seen one of those fight before. I can just shield you right now. I don't have my sword out. Now I do. And now I run. Now I run. Wait for you to show your fucking face and boom! You're dead. Arrows! I don't really care for arrows right now. And here is why using Farrar's Wind was totally useless to me at that point. Comprehensive. Super fucking comprehensive. List. Many, many reasons of why... Does he have heart? Is, is, is you don't have heart. Of why that was totally fucking useless to me. Is that I'm in the center room anyways. Yeah, right there. There's my little glowing light thing. Which is act I said it before, like random things at the end of dark areas seem just generally creepy to me. By the way, there's a creepy sound as well. But I'm ignoring it because I got fucking hearts to grab. Or rather two. 
Okay. Wailing over her lost sisters. I guess those are crocodile tears. I saw you moving. You gotta shoot the one that spins. Hello? You can show yourselves. Oh wow, you're totally fucking inconspicuous there. You know what? This is a perfect time for me to use these. Come on. I got this. I'ma freeze your ass, bitch. Wow, you guys are so brilliant. My arrow's actually blue? That's, if it is, then cool. If they actually, like, change. No. They don't. I don't think... I think you just got a set amount of hits here. Doesn't matter what arrows you use. For this one in particular. Because, technically, I should be doing more damage. Unless they don't do more damage. In which case, what's the fucking point? By the way, fucking last room. As, as if you needed clarification on the matter. It's been what we've been working for the whole talking... I don't know if there's like an e fastest way to do this, so I just check every freaking combination. And gates open to nothing. It's great. And I'd be checking for skull to lose. There's nothing over here, so we push it again this way. Eventually things just fucking line up. I don't think I've said fuck enough. Enough. I don't even know where the tea came from. Don't ask me where the tea came from. Another random door behind nothing and you have nothing. This is a this is an interesting and inspired puzzle. But still kind of tedious and boring. And there's like nothing in this direction, I believe. Oh, well, there's this guy. This guy wants to- this guy wants to have some fun. Too bad he's dead. I believe there's a second chest here? No, I'm mistaken. I totally should have grabbed that heart earlier. Whatever. Can I get another heart? Okay, so I got an arrow. Or rather a bundle a bundle of one arrow. Am I 24 or 25? I don't fucking care. That's it. I think this is the last movement or the last push to the fucking finish line. Oh yeah, if I grabbed the compass it would have been easier. I would have known exactly where everything was. But I believe it's supposed to line up with the red carpet. At least the final one's supposed to line up with the red carpet. Or no, it lines up with the blue carpet. I was mistaken. No, as ice heroes seem to have proven their uselessness. I'm going to try one thing. Rather, I'm going to try like this. Just one little thing. This requires the master sword. Oh hey, there's nothing here. Oh wait, I didn't go far enough. Oh hey, there's nothing here. 2D spikes! Oh my god, it's Ganondorf! Oh no! Stuff! Oh, his... That's not Ganondorf, his face wasn't clipping through his face! That's how I think it out. By the way, this entire boss fight is boss fight is inspired from an early build of the game. Or at least an early design. I totally fucked that up. Hey there! Are you right? Yeah, you're right. Wow, I'm totally doing this wrong. Oh shit, it worked. Now I just gotta not get hit. Come on, I got this. Infinite Sword Glitch! I don't think he's gonna come from the same spot. 
Nope. Nope, fuck you. Do not get hit. If I want this to work, I can't get hit. I really need to try this. I don't know how you figure out which one's right. Now let's see if this works. Oh shit, it works. It fucking works. Hey, come on, I just wanna talk to you. Haha! <laughs> Infinite sword! Damn it, I didn't get the hit. So, okay, go get. So I got the lock on. Come on! This can work. His shots don't go in the right direction any naturally, anyways. This could totally work still. You see this? You see the awesomeness here? Come on, there we go. This is how you beat Phantom Ganon. You see? Do you see what's happening here? Do you, see, do you see just the pure joy this should be giving you? I love... This is the first time I've actually done that. Infinite Sword Glitch! Actually useful in boss fights. Had, had I jump slashed with the big Goron Sword first, it would have been a lot faster. Hey kid, you did quite well. Looks like you maybe gained some slight skill. Haha, <laughs> slight skill. I was attacking infinitely times a second. But you have only defeated my Phantom! When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Oh sure it won't. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. You don't have to be telling me this. You just say, fuck my clone. That works. That, that, that gets your point across rather forcefully. I'd be intimidated by that. Not, I will banish you to this arbitrary place that I have determined that I believe that my enemy is too stupid to understand. Oh, hey, we're back here. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am sorry, the sage of the forest temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. It's really fucking depressing. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now, please take this medallion! I might be able to get the Shadow Temple done in this part. That depends on my ability to make my way in there. More than anything. Oh wait, no, I'd have to turn into a kid first. Well, I don't have to turn into a kid, but I should. I really should do that first. Sorry, I'll always be your friend. Not when I head off to Termina.